Regent. Yes. Good morning, Mr. Hello, Hello there. Hi, oh, yeah. yeah. nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Great to see you again. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you Well, that's a nice to see you. Nice to see you. Helen has something for you, Mr. Oh. President. Thank you. <laughs> 
Say, thank you very much. I can play Santa Claus now. <laughs> she has well, one for your you. wife, Olson. She has one for your wife, Olson. Oh, well, I wish Nancy were here, but I'll take it to her. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll play Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, yes. Oh, Dave, this is the letter. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm sorry. Please, for all you're doing, I wish you success in this. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. I'm glad this way, yes. Okay, Helen, want to say goodbye? Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Commander Keith Krul. Hello, Vince. How are you? Nice to see you again. Mr. President, nice to see you again, sir. Good to see you again. Commander Keith Krul. President, pleasure to meet you, Jack. Thank you. Nice to see you. Well, I think we want to see you. Mr. President, I'd like to take this opportunity to present our resolutions of our 65th National Convention. National Convention. I'd note that the uh, number of the resolutions, especially on national security, are very closely allied with the technology. So I know. I appreciate that. Uh, and I know the Legion has also been very supportive of many of the domestic things we've been doing, too, and I'm most grateful. Appreciative of the stance that you take and your willingness to use our military forces politically as the advantage of the United States, especially the Grenada invasion. We yes. certainly applaud you for the action that you took there. Well, thank you very much. I just completed a trip to the Far East and we followed your trail in Japan and Korea. Certainly, you're right here in Mark's over there. And our trips over there were just truly outstanding. Well. Did you get up here at the DMC? That's, that's something to see those fellows up there in the spirit they have. Down in Bangkok, the PCRC, the POW situation. Appreciate your better state remarks regarding that and to encourage you to hang in there and keep working on that. Professor, can we do a group, group chat with these three gentlemen up there? Grenada, and now he's over in Beirut. He wrote back to the Armed Forces Journal that he decided because every news story about Grenada, under open door, close the paragraph with Grenada produces more nutmeg than any other place in the world. <laughs> so he wrote back that he had decided this appearing in every story was a code, and he was going to break the code, and he did. <laughs> he said, number one, Grenada produces more nutmeg than any other place in the world. Yeah, Number two, but <clears throat> the Soviets and Cubans are trying to take Grenada. Number three, you can't make good eggnog without nutmeg. Number four, you can't have a Christmas without eggnog. Number five, the Soviets and Cubans are trying to steal Christmas. <laughs> Number six, we stopped. <laughs> Mr. President, uh, Mr. Waller, to your point, point T is they're very, very cooperative with the with the American Legion, and we enjoy a good relationship with he and Colonel Bidgood, and uh, we want to thank you for that that appointment. Well, I appreciate it very much. Always accessible. I appreciate your presentation. Last year, I was invited to Secretary Schultz to speak uh, this year, and hopefully he will accept it. Uh, when you, will you be seeing him in the near future, Mr. President? Would you tell him that we'd like him over there? I'll <laughs> <laughs> be happy to recommend him. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it's a sincere pleasure. We want you at our next convention, Mr. President. Well, thank you, Pete. Thank you. All right. That's good. Forward. Thank you. Same to you. Hey, Michelle, Mr. Thomas, Mr. President. Thank you. Yes. 
the land Rio today. How do you do, Mr. Robert Lafon? How do you do? Mr. President, uh, we were on the privilege to receive the opinion of this. Thank you, sir. La, la question supplémentaire que je pose, c'est qu'est-ce que le président donne comme définition du Reaganisme pour les Américains, pour les étrangers, pour les Français Je ne suis pas addict à donner des labels. Mais ce que nous avons essayé de faire ici, et je pense que nous avons été raisonnablement successifs, is, first of all, to bring about an economic recovery. I think it is taking place. I think it not only benefits the, our country, but I think our country, uh, just as it can export recession and economic trouble, <laughs> a recovery here, I think, can benefit the world. Certainly, my long time good friend in France, uh, in helping economic recovery in those places. When we came here, we felt that the United States had retreated from a position of strength that I think is important to certainly the free world, the Western world. I believe that we've succeeded in restoring our strength to the place that we have a, a real deterrent. We've had the longest period of peace in Europe now that we've had for many years among the major nations. And we're going to continue on that line. And the goal internationally is and must be peace. And we're, we're dedicated to that. We're going to continue with our efforts to bring about some realistic reduction, particularly nuclear weapons. And I believe that the course that we've followed so far uh, has made that more possible. There have been 19 efforts since World War II to persuade the Soviets to uh, join the reduction of weapons. They have resisted every time until this time. And even though there is a temporary lull, which I think is part of the bargaining process, um, they have actually proposed um, themselves reducing the number of their weapons, which is the first time they have ever done it. So uh, we're going to keep pressing for that. And, uh, I think that's, uh, I hope that's an answer to your question. La meilleure réponse. Monsieur le Président, je, je vous avais reçu il y a trois ans, tout de suite après l'inauguration. Vous, vous n'avez pas changé, vous êtes plus jeune. Est-ce que vous vous sentez en force pour recommencer quatre ans Oui, 
Well, I'm going to be making an announcement about my decision. Uh, January 29th, as to what it will be. Uh, let me say that um, my physical condition uh, won't even have to be a consideration in whatever I decide. No, I feel fine. I don't think I've ever felt better. Monsieur le Président, est-ce qu'on peut vous ajouter une petite question Qu'est-ce que vous pensez de la High Frontier C'est un grand problème. Je crois que vous allez présenter ce projet pour être prêt dans cette guerre de l'espace. Without restricting myself to that particular approach, I have asked for our for a complete study and for research into trying to develop a defensive weapon against uh, the nuclear nuclear weapons. But again, I am proposing that in the interest of but hopefully being able to eliminate those weapons. If we could succeed and bring about a realistic defensive weapon against them, then my next step would be to inform the Soviet Union that we had this and now we were prepared to join them in eliminating all such weapons in the world. Mr. President, thank you very much. You've been generous with your time. I hope it's near the end of a, another hard day. I hope it's well, this time is great for these. I'm going to take my look at the pictures. <laughs> Nous sommes les principaux partisans de votre politique, M. le Président. Nous sommes les premiers combattants du monde libre. Nous sommes les premiers combattants du monde libre. Nous sommes les premiers combattants du monde libre. Reflection on my early education because when I was a schoolboy, I studied French for a couple of years. And then, 1949, first time I ever set foot in Europe, found myself with a couple, a married couple. The three of us were driving down across France in the Mediterranean. And I discovered that even though they were English and just 20 miles away, they had never been to France. They did not know one word of French. And I was going to be the only thing between us and science. So we were coming to a town for lunch. And I started trying to remember, that was a long time ago, so I could remember some of what I learned in my French study. So we came to the town, and I mentally figured how I'm going to find, where do we have lunch? So there was a gendarme, and I rolled down the window with the car, and I said, pardon, monsieur, j'ai grand fin. Où est my café? And he told me. Where was the best cafe? <laughs> and my friend who was driving says, what did he say? I said, I have the slightest idea. <laughs> I only heard the answer. <laughs> well, thank you all very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you for these. Sure. Thank you. Mr. President, thank you, sir. Well, thank you very much. Good night. May I have a smile? Joyeux Noël et bonne année. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. <laughs> oui, merci. Come from the fire department. Are you leaving us? Unfortunately, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yep. I just wouldn't want you to be deprived of any of the luxuries of Washington, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, <laughs> thanks, sir. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, there's just a little souvenir of the, of the days of bipartisan activity. <laughs> and I know that we're not saying goodbye. That's right. Just a sort of right. change of locale. That's right. 
So I can't wait to get back in the campaign. I was there in 76 and again in 80, so, so I'm ready to go. Thank you for everything. Well, I have a feeling welcome. that Kerry wants to sign <laughs> and he'll put this book out for you. Yeah, I'm working under Carmen, you know. <laughs>